Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Uh, so it's been a long time since I last got a chance to stream and we're playing a different game this time. Uh, this is pretty much just a game that I'm really obsessed with at the moment. Um, so I'm just gonna have some fun and anybody who stops by, uh, feel free to chat and we're just gonna hang out. Um, so I'm pretty much at the end of Act 1 in the game right now. Um, and let me know if any of the audio is off or anything like that. So right off the bat, we're in a fight <laughs> because I forgot these guards up here um, are not happy with me having escaped the fort. Uh, they are not happy at all. Uh, so like I said, I'm almost at the a uh, end of Act 1 um, and I have my four characters here. We all have our source points uh, and we're pretty suited for battle. Uh, also, if anybody uh, sees my cat jump up on the back of the chair, uh, that's normal, and uh, we get just a little bit of pet time. Uh, so, uh, the build that I'm going on with... <laughs> Hi, Extreme. Nice emote there. Um, so, the build that I've got going on in Afon is a ranged build. Um, so, let's see what we're going to do here. Cool. And that guy's going to be just out of range. Uh, but... Got a little bit of summoning mixed in, uh, just for the versatility. Darn it. <laughs> of course the guy whips out a potion. <laughs> uh, and then on my main character, who is Sibyl, uh, I'm doing kind of a tank uh, build. Doing some necromancy to get the health back. Uh, and just trying to be able to tank. Uh, any damage that comes out. Got a little bit of long ranged here, which is always good, and that was enough to take him out. Low level fight. Um, I am playing the game on easy mode, mostly because I'm here for the story more so than the, the fights, uh, but also I'm a little bit over leveled for this area. So, um, there is a quest that I wanted to check out before I headed out of this area and on to Act 2, uh, which is this guy right here. You again? Tell me, are you alone? Uh, I'm with a group, but I can ditch them. You won't regret it. Not when you hear what I've got to say. What are you... Uh, you seem a bit nervous. <laughs> you would be too if you'd been here as long as I have. In fact, you should be nervous if you're here at all. I know what they have planned for us, and it ain't pretty. So, what do you have planned? I've been here a long time. Longer than anyone else. People get taken sometimes. Some folks say they get cured. I don't know if I believe it, and I don't want to wait and find out. I have a way out of here. It won't be easy, and I need a partner. Just one. Are you interested? <laughs> Um, yes, I want in. The teleporter. I have a plan simple, completely foolproof. I have a spell that I can use to teleport you. Is that a toucan emote? I can't use it on myself, but with your help, we can both get out of here. There's an artifact that you can use to teleport me out of this place. Then I can use my spell to free you in turn. This item, though, I already found an item that'll let me teleport. Let's go. Well, I certainly got lucky with you, didn't I? Give me your map. I'll show you where to go. And hurry, not a tick of the clock. The okay, so we're gonna go ahead and follow this guy. Uh, and he is gonna show us some treasure. He's moderately suspicious. Uh, he also asked me to come alone, but clearly isn't bothered by the fact that I'm dragging three other people with me. Oh, it's a turkey. It certainly doesn't look like a turkey. It looks like a toucan. I don't know many red turkeys. Come. This way, in the back. Follow me. We're going back here. Hello, dude. Now, 
brought me down to the ledge behind me near the tree stump. Okay, so I need to find the item um, that has the teleportation. It's a set of gloves. I know that. Uh, I had them equipped earlier. And I don't know if I put them on somebody else. Oh, chill. Yeah, I did put them on somebody else. So I'll replace mine later. Um. Ah, why am I on fire? Oh. So I have on the whole armor set of the tyrant. So I'm going to have to take that off temporarily. Or else it's going to kill me. Ignore, ignore all of that. <laughs> um, did I take off the gloves too? I did take off the gloves too. Okay, now I have the teleportation ability. I'm gonna use it on him. And get him over there. Sorry, Extreme. Oh, I killed Gavin. Okay. Um. Hmm. That was not intentional. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure he died. Yes, I do need to fix that. I will indeed have to. I will indeed do that. Uh, well, I'm gonna d teleport one of my companions over there instead, I guess. Uh, I'll loot his body, which is, you know, a, a bonus. Hey, Shadow. Nice to see you here. Um, let's see if I can manage this with the fact that I am not over there anymore. I think he might have to be alive for me. Oh, no, he doesn't need to be alive for me to get down there. So. That works. Death builds character? That's true. Uh, so does eating corpses, which is a thing that the characters in this game can do. I don't know if you're very familiar with this game. Uh, Shadow, but uh, that is a thing that happens in this game. So I think I can walk over. I cannot walk over there. I swear there's. Oh, there's a chest over there that I'll have to get in a minute. Um, I don't know where that goes. I'm gonna go in there really quick. Ah, it drops me down a hole. Okay, so this character is now here, but I've been here before, so I know how to get out of here and get her back with the group. So we'll do that. I really enjoy this game because of all the flexibility that it has with the different areas. I've played some with some friends just in this first area. Um, once we move on to Act 2, which will be pretty quickly here, I don't know anything about what's going on. Uh, so it'll be all new to me, but I just wanted to finish gathering up some some stuff here So Move over here uh, And go ahead and teleport Someone Nope, not there Not there uh, Do I have to be standing here? Yes a little tiny smidge of a place. Loot it. Great. Not something I really needed. I don't think you are a mod. How do I make you a mod? I think I know how. There you go. Now you're a mod. Okay, now I teleport him back. Cool. Okay, so I got everybody back together. Uh, so Gawain, or whatever his name is. Yeah, hey, Gavin, but with a W. Uh, which I have to say is a weird spelling. 
Oh, the black cat died. Oh, damn it. Well, that's very sad. Oh, and I can put all my armor back on. <laughs> so all of this armor is cursed. As okay. And now that it's complete, I don't have to worry about all the effects from the cursed pieces. By the way, do my audio levels seem to be okay? I'm going to check the logbook to see if there's anything else. Uh, that I need to do in this area. I don't think there is. And because of that, I'm going to go ahead and head over. So this is all of the map that I've explored. This is taking me quite a while uh, to explore this first area. Um, just as a rundown quickly for people who aren't necessarily familiar with all of it. Um, you start off on a ship. Um, you've been taken prisoner by magisters because you are a sorcerer, uh, somebody who can use source to, you, to cast magic, essentially. Uh, and this is Fort Joy, a prison that you were transported to. Um, and we have successfully broken out of Fort Joy. Uh, we had some source collars on that were stopping us from being able to use our, use our source powers, uh, and we managed to get rid of that. Uh, and then we broke out into this whole area, explored around, got rid of some curses, uh, defeated uh, the dude who ran the prison, found out we were godwoken, and that one of us is going to become the new divine, uh, and now we get to escape uh, on a ship over in this area. So, very, very quick rundown. It is a great game, though. So, we already looted all these bodies, I'm pretty sure. So, we can come down here, and we can talk to this lady, whose name is Malady. Let's go. Um, oh, I wanted to save. As you... I spam save, because I'm never sure what I'm going to want to backtrack for. Let's go. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and board the boat. Malady boat. grabs the vessel with two hands and pushes it into the water. She hops on board behind you. God woken. Wait till she finds out. Salty water mists your face. Your skin prickles in bright, warm sunlight. The boat bobs forward through the water, and Fort Joy shrinks behind you. Cutscene. Tired but victorious, the party made for the Lady Vengeance. The horrors of Fort Joy behind them. They arrived as sorcerers. They left as godwoken. The fate of this godforsaken world now rested on their shoulders. Or at least on the shoulders of one of them. Which will be me. Definitely. Okay, we're on a ship. A light sea breeze kisses your cheek and carries away the smell of blood wafting up from the deck. Water, XP. In the distance, Fort Joy looms. Uh... <laughs> uh, a hard-fought freedom, sure, but if spilling blood is bad, it shouldn't be so agreeable. I've no sympathy for those who die in the line of duty. Especially as odious a duty as those dead Manchester's held. I'll be damned if I ever set foot on the island again. Don't care who I Thanks for trying to fix it, Extreme. Uh, I'll have to fix it after the stream. So, guys, don't spam emotes or uh, Nightbot's gonna block you uh, for five seconds. Bad luck tonight, we'll dead linger aboard. As soon as we get moving, we ought to clear the deck. Onward now. The sooner Fort Joy disappears from the horizon, the better. Perhaps the Seekers need help manning the ship. Uh, okay, so I have all the stuff, so my party's going off. Um, apparently this area is kind of a camp sort of area. Uh, but there's lots of 
bodies here that I can try to loot. <laughs> I mean, I think it's only a five second uh, ban for the first time that you do it, so it's not the worst penalty. But I don't know what it'll do on the second time. So be careful. These bodies do not have a whole lot on them. Oh, this one has a good bit more on it, including a pillow. A feather pillow. So that's a sword that's better than my sword. Um, a nice wand for somebody. <sighs> oh, some of my companions want to talk. Floating nest surrounded on all sides by salt water, pure poison to a tree's root. The great acorn could never reach us out here. Well, yes, of course we'll continue our research, Quercus. We're not monsters. Still, I must admit you were right about the shield. It proved to be more than ever. Um, I'm usually pretty nice to Sir Quercus. Uh, Sir Laura and Quercus the cat. Um, cat's obviously more important. <laughs> um, you, you better focus on your research. Oh. <clears throat> yes, it, uh, it seems our shield is still here, Quercus. How does something so large and ungainly stick up on a person? <laughs> you give the giants too much credit, Quercus. I think the salty air has addled your mind. It has certainly been useful, but <laughs> kind, but surprisingly attractive. No, no, we have no time for your fawning. We may be safe, but the world is not. Come, we must return to our research. Okay, cool. So, we talked to at least one of our companions. We can talk to this lady. Don't go any further, Godwoken. We need you alive. Uh, what's going on? The ship won't sail. We had orders to search every corner of it and figure out what's blocking us. It's hewn from elven livewood. I thought I could communicate with it, but... Ah. She glances over towards a smoldering pile of ash on the deck nearby. Something is nestled... That was Brendan. When the ship wouldn't answer my call, he touched the figurehead. And it attacked him without warning. He burned like he was made of cotton. Yeah, yeah, he he really looks like he did. Uh, did you learn anything useful before the figurehead attack? Nothing. The ship is live wood. That much is clear. But I couldn't communicate with it. The magisters must have done something, warped it somehow. I just don't know what. Uh, I'll be careful. Just remember what I said, Godwoken. If you die, then this was all okay. for nothing. Um well save first. Hear my prayer. I Shall think I should be able to loot this body safely, except nothing's on it. Not gonna bother the figurehead right this moment. I don't have enough information on what's going on. And I need to finish looting the bodies. That's really the most important thing right now. Okay. Uh, ah. Spare me, Gareth. We got what we came for. See, her face is weird. Like half her face is covered with something. I won't see them tossed overboard. Not here. We'll hold a proper survey. What's his face and so and so would want us to get this ship <laughs> sailing before all else? I'm glad it's your pup likes the stream. Woken, after all. I think, uh, you know, my cat was here somewhere. Um, she kept hopping up on the back of the chair like she wanted to be in the stream, but she ran off somewhere now. You know their names, Malin. Can't you even pay them that much respect? We haven't gotten a chance to set up the uh, animal cam quite yet, but that is something that we're planning on doing. Our guests first. 
Welcome, Godwoken. Glad to see you safely aboard. Ah, uh, very glad indeed. No, I don't think she's behind me. Uh, I don't. She hasn't figured out quite yet how to get behind the green screen. <laughs> Last I checked, anyway. Um. How many were lost in the battle? Okay, that's one too few, actually. Alexander, what? He's alive. I killed him. <laughs> So one of my companions, Afan, his quest was to kill this Alexander guy. Uh, and it seemed like he was dead. Uh, but apparently not. Uh, I saw him fall with my own eyes. What happened? Apparently, didn't I mean, I'm enough. pretty sure that I cut him apart with a sword. But, you know. He's in the hall below decks. Unconscious, but alive. Um, what do they plan to do? Question him. Someone has been hunting your kind, and Alexander fancies himself the only Godwoken worthy of a stand. That's bullshit. As far as we know, you may even be the last still alive. If Alexander is guilty, well, I mean, I know I'm not the last one still alive because my three other companions are also Godwoken. Yes, we certainly had better, but the ship won't move. She's mute. We need to free her time. So I'm an elf, so I get extra stuff to say. Quite expedient, isn't it? That seems to have made a ship out of an ancestor tree, then found a way to bind the spirit within to her alone. That means only she can control it. Unless we can find a way to break it. Um, would an elf maybe be able to do it? Go ahead and try. Maybe a pure breed will have better luck than I do. What are you a mix between? But whatever you do, hurry it up. The longer we sit here, the higher the chance the order will get. Really, their hands don't on think you. it's got happen. to do with being an elf. Yes, yes, and all that. Uh, okay, so let's let's go look around. Um. You were on the ship as well, weren't you? The one that sank. I wouldn't have bet tuppence on your survival. He's not one of my companions. Why is he here? It is quite a tale, I assure you. And the upshot of it all is that I've accomplished a goal on this horrid isle that came quite unforeseen. Okay. Uh, tell me about it? But of course. First you must know that I'm a prince. The Red Prince. I don't care. I'll give you a moment to let that sink in. You have no doubt heard the tales of certain setbacks that befell me. Setbacks that forced me to leave the ancient empire. My I'd empire. love to have you as a companion later, but not right now. It was then, forced as I was to wander the wilds, that a voice first began to reach me in my dreams. But the voice spoke from too great a distance, too faint be understood I had to understand somehow I knew this to be of vital importance is there a point to all this the point <laughs> is that unlike your attention span I did not give up until it's I very found what I was looking for I searched this island for a dreamer one of the mystics of my kind that can travel the dream world at will as if it were another realm just as real as our own. And so I met with Bahara in the sanctuary of Amadia. We raced through dream waste, beset by nightmares, until we reached a voice. It turns out it was that of Gramos the Wanderer, the greatest and most elusive dreamer. This is a long story. He desires that I should meet him somewhere on Reefless Coast. And meet uh, him I shall. That is where my journey takes me. Goodbye. Okay, so companions that I did not pick are going to be on the boat, too, it looks like. Which is uh, good to know. Uh, but I also want to find the companions that I did choose to take. Um, who are you? You are not one of my companions. Goodbye. They must all be down below. 
Um, um, I swear I've been on this ship before. I guess it was just similar to the ship before. Uh, hi. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Okay, never mind. He's looking for the same thing I'm looking for. I don't know. Oh. Dallas's assistant. The silent monk leans forward slightly and stares at you straight in the eyes. She seems eager for you to ah. say something. So the silent monks don't talk. That might have been obvious, but they're also creepy. It's a lot of beer. Uh, I'm gonna take the stew. I don't know if it's anything useful, but I'm gonna take it. I tend to loot everything, so forgive me for that. Oh, there's a nice chest. Darn it. Half the chests I find are empty. Ballast day, I think. Oh, hi, beast. Ah, uh, come here. Oh, I want to talk to you. Let's team up, you and me. Yeah. You say? Now, onward. Cool. Who are you? All that fighting will be worth less than. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Not a conversationalist. So how's life going beyond the, the craziness outside? Anything exciting for anybody? Very bad. And panties. I'm gonna leave that alone. There's gotta be another level. There we go. There is indeed. Okay. That door looks creepy. I'll come back to that. Oh. Yeah, I'll come back to that. Speak to me if you're looking for hired help. I got good fighters of every stripe. They know how to keep their mouths shut too, as long as there's gold in it. Give me one second, guys. Hold on. I gotta check something. Okay, you should be good to go. Uh, the stream disconnected, Mark. The stream disconnected. Okay, now it's back. Okay, we seem to have <laughs> disconnected for a second, and I'm back. Uh, you're getting a new car tomorrow. And a project bike, maybe. Wow. What kind of car? Thank you. 
I do not want any hired help. Uh, okay. Let's see what else. 97 cheap Grand Cherokee. Cool. Sounds nice. What bike do you think you might get if you end up getting one? Hey, don't I know you from soap? We've got quite the task on our hands, haven't we? I have to admit, the whole thing is very intriguing. Um. Yep, I want her to come with me. Old band back together again. Look at me, hard. What do you see? Lucy leans back slightly, thin arms crossed in front of her chest, and stares at you defiantly from dark eye sockets, darker and deeper set than when you first met. She blows back a lock of white hair, matted with sweat and grime, and holds back a smile from the corners of her lips. Ah, oh, a chopper. That certainly sounds interesting, and, like, the two of them should keep you busy for a little while. But I'm not the same, am I? Your god wants me dead. My god? Devil? <laughs> Who knows? It wants me. It's getting stronger, and I need to outpace it. I want to make sure you understand, well, the risks. I don't think there are any risks. You're my friend and your companion. You don't get it. I'm dangerous. Can you do that? I did it before. Do I ever? Still, at the time, I wanted you to defend me. I didn't realize how bad things have gotten. I know better now. Something like that happens again. You do what needs to be done. Yeah, it sounds like that should be a good project to keep you busy. Are you looking for something mostly because of coronavirus and everything? Something to work on at home? Inside? Inside-ish, so as I should say. Um, it's a deal. Well, all right then. She pinches your cheek, a sparkle in her dim gray eye. I knew I could count on you to merge yep. me in a pinch. Let's go, Chief. Cool. Wow, that's you a lot of XP. It won't save you. Okay, let's talk to Constance. The seeker flexes her arms stiffly. Her joints audibly pop. She sees you. <laughs> Just really bad with money. I feel that. I buy games way too readily. I, I have way too money. many games to play on stream. Alexander the bloody divine himself. She nods her thanks and immediately winces, laying her hand on the back of her neck. Oh, um, you have a valuable bargaining chip. Oh, a big bloody target on our back. We took their leader and their flagship. The hammer won't stand for that. I have a little dog us? here who wants to play. Come here, Jasper. Come here. Ah, oh, come here. Let's show you to the people on stream for a second. Come here. Ah, see, got a little dog. He's here to join us. He's here to say hi. Hey, Jasper. Hi. <laughs> Apparently you spammed caps. <laughs> 12 messages. <laughs> um She seems to be in some pain. Was she injured during the taking of the ship? <laughs> I wish. No. The magistrate kept me He is the pocket. very fluffy. Arms held above me head, feet barely able to touch the deck. Damn it, joints of pain are gross. He's a pretty good little dog. Very fluffy. Very energetic. Wants to play a lot. He comes and barks at me when I'm in here because he wants me to come in there and play with him. Oh, 
Uh, okay. Ask about the other Magister prisoner. Is she anyone important? The Seeker throws a toxic look at the imprisoned Magister. Oddly, she's just some deckhand. If it were up to me, I'd tie her to the main mast and use her for arrow practice. But Malady wants to I really appreciate that this game is so fully voiced. Sorry for the dog bark, Jasper. Quiet. Um. I want to talk to the prisoners. Good luck getting anything out of either of them. My special guest is out cold. And the other one ain't I gotta try. Open moves. up the cage. Alright then, just... But I'm not gonna do anything with it right now. So, bye. <laughs> Have her open it. Run away. I gotta find my other companion. Uh, Ifan. Where might he be? That's not helpful. So I don't think I saw him anywhere on here. Anywhere in this area. So maybe he's up a level or two? Let's go find a fawn really quickly before we get in any fights. Ah, he's in there. There you go. There he is. Hello. I was just getting used to this seafaring life. You know, we could. Uh, from the look in your eye, I gather it's time to grab my things yes. and get back to work. Ready. We probably get tired of this view soon enough anyway. Come on, let's go. Okay, we got the band back together. Now we can go talk with some peoples. Uh, and see what we can get out of Alexander. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why do you mean you spotted something? Where? Oh, holy crap! There's stuff hidden beneath the floorboards of a ship. What the hell? Uh, the door's open. I want to be careful. Magister Ramney, Corpus Mate to the Divine Eminence Vessel, Lady Vengeance. Hi. A young Magister paces around the brig, fussing over Alexander's unconscious form. She leans over and applies a damp cloth to his brow. She notices you observing her. She straightens her back and sets her jaw in a defiant scowl. Magister Randy, caucus mate of the Divine Eminence Vessel, Lady Vengeance. That's all the information I'm giving to any of you lot. So stow your questions, elf. Doesn't look like that worked, Extreme. Um Uh it might look more kindly on her if she helps him. Magister Randley, Corcus mate of the Diplomatically raise your hands and say that she doesn't have to tell you anything yet. She just has to listen. The Magister falls silent. But stares at you with unwavering defense. Ah, now it worked. Um, so. Strength and constitution are my best things. Let's try constitution. Or, well. I don't think I can get into my... I can! I can get in. So my constitution's only slightly lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Ah, I succeeded. There's a shift in the Magister's expression, a flicker of doubt. Then I'm a good Magister, loyal. But Dallas, something about her has changed. She's toying with dark magic, like a common sorcerer. She used to to sing to the ship. It let her control it. She had this old book of hymns and incantations. It was only ever in her hands, or else locked away in her cabin at the stern. That's all I know. Okay, let's uh, take a look at Alexander. Get away from him, sorcerer. That's he is the not the divine. Uh, point out, she's alone, arm armed, and there's a ship full of seekers who'd happily throw her overboard. She's in no position to be making demands. All right. Don't harm him. I'll 
No, I'm just gonna loot his corpse. It's fine. Bishop wakes up and lies supine on a bare wire cot. Though unconscious, bruises swell beneath his eyes, and a shallow gash zigzags from his right ear down to his knee. Someone has wiped the bishop's hands clean and folded them neatly over his abdomen. They rise and fall in shallow, jagged swells. A beautiful six-sided gem rests on the bishop's chest, hung round his neck by an ordinary, ordinary oiled, oiled rope. I've never heard of an oiled rope for a necklace. Slip the gem from around his neck, place it in your pocket. The gem nice. Okay. Your pouch. Great. We got something. I uh, don't know what it is. Oh, there's more boxes to loot. Empty boxes. <laughs> Not empty. Darn it. Hold on. I gotta move some stuff. And equip some stuff, too. I'll have to work on better equipping my people in a little bit here. Working through a lot of the stuff. Might even do that off stream a little bit later. Just to not bore you guys with the details. Um, so, let's talk to these people. There's something to these doors on your ceiling. But what? Okay, you're not helpful. Little kid. Nice bow, eh? We got sure. an upgrade. There's got to be another way to get it going, but we can't find a way into Dallas's room. Maybe you can see something we can't. You're lurking now, huh, Extreme? The door seems like any door, at least at first. Then you notice it's unblemished wood. There is no knot, no scratch, no dent to detract from its apparent perfection. Uh... Old textbook of doors like these, disputostiums, they were called. Place your palm against the door. The wood groans and creaks. A face appears in the wood, tortured and tormented. A six-sided indentation is carved on its forehead, as if a gem or amulet had made a mark there. The That's face nice. Vanishes. So I'm using the, the gem on face it. Appears once more. It dips its forehead towards you and. I guess I put it to its forehead. A shudder of pleasure racks the figure in the door. It seems to breathe. All of a sudden, all anguish is gone. It gives you the sternest of looks. I am summoned. Speak the past. Um. It's been changed. Why not? <laughs> Oh, success is impossible. The elven mind is as simple as it is stubborn. My answer remains as ever. Okay, so we got the gem. Uh, let's see what's up on the other side. This is another door. No entry allowed. Please use the portal. Uh... Listen up so I don't have to repeat myself again. I am not an uh, empty door. I've... It's been changed. Mm. Fine. Answer the security. Uh, uh, strength persuasion. Darn it. Attacking wastes your Okay, power. that didn't work. There's no entry to the stuff. That won't get you... Darn it. Okay, um... This is the I don't have the password. Oh. Um... There's gotta be some item here somewhere that has the password. Thanks for the hug, Extreme. It's very nice. Lady, shut up. Too late for that now, Red. The bell can't be unrung. The Magister Lee... If you ever find yourself face to face with Magisters, you tell them I was tortured. I didn't betray the cause. Not until I was near death. Don't lock me in here. Understand? I'll keep an eye on the Red until okay. the cage is locked again. Um, actually, I'm gonna go investigate Alexander again. 
Maybe he's maybe he's got the password on him somewhere. I'll keep an eye on the red until the cage is locked again. Bishop Alexander lies supine on a bare wire cot. Inspect his hands. No unconscious. His eyes are someone has wiped the bishop's hands clean and oh, yeah. neatly as the Base. bishop's white nope. robes are bruises swelled. Oh. <sighs> so where am I gonna be? Let's go upstairs. Do I need to find the password to this stupid door? Uh, what about back here somewhere? I missed a chair. Or a chest. Um. Hmm. If anybody sees where this might be, let me know. I don't know what that command was. That you just used, extreme. Okay, there has to be the answer somewhere here. We can't get this shit moving. I really doubt it's there. Okay, let's look at our log. Hmm. Tricky. Oh, there's the pure breed now. <laughs> this is Dallas's ship, but she can't have been the only one who could get it moving. It'd be too risky. Dallas is anything but careless. There's a way to move this ship on board, I'm sure of it. The figurehead has certainly caused a commotion lately. But then again, so okay. the doors so. downstairs. Please don't go. So she doesn't seem very helpful. I really doubt we can just break those doors down. I mean, I suppose I could try. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go try to smack the door. I don't think it'll work. But I can't think of anything better right this second. Pretty sure there's nothing on the other side of this that helps me. Yeah. Not really. Oh, okay. Talk to the door. Knock loudly. This is my wood. It's older than the sun. Ah, uh, are a lot of people using your internet at the same time? There's no entry through the starboard door. That okay. Get you uh, attack. Fudge. Bishop Alexander lies supine. 
Freaking lady keeps walk walking me in here. Okay, despite what you've been spamming about the blind, I actually do need a little bit of help <laughs> figuring out what I can do now where I get this darned password. There's got to be some clue. Dallas would have trusted someone with a secret, wouldn't she? I really, really, really doubt I can teleport. Pass. That's not what I wanted. Nope, can't do that. Need to be able to see, apparently. Okay. Pretty sure I got all the items off him. Maybe there's a book that I picked up or something. Let me look in through my inventory. Alexander's journal. Nope. Crafting Bible. Not exactly. A diary. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so it's apparently been in my inventory this whole time. She went to her stateroom and there she spoke to the doors. Principal Fortitude. Fortitude. Fortitude shall open the doors. Okay. Never mind. That was easier than I, for some reason, thought it was going to be. Yes, and yes again. The word is spoken. Cool. Made it. Just uh, one more moment. I Tarquin. He clicks together two halves of some type of gauntlet sitting in his lap and turns his full attention to you. And there. Rescued at last, am I? Um, is that an armor that he's right here? Armor? Such a limiting word, but yes, it serves that purpose, amongst others. Hi, Jasper. Dallas has been keeping me prisoner here. But I try to keep working on my own projects. Uh, <laughs> Jasper, I know, I know you want to play. Not right now, though. Um, prisoners aren't usually held in the master cabin. Alice took a particular interest in me and my skills. I'm an expert in healing, crafting, and uh, more arcane practices. She kept me here to do her bit ah. until you took her Jasper. from right under her Jasper. nose, it seems. Um, kind of sounds like you were a mercenary. I've offered my services for gold in the past, yes. But my labors for Dallas were far from voluntary. He extends his arm and pushes up the sleeve. Beneath, the skin is withered and discolored, as if it were magically decayed. She used some form of domination device on me, forcing my hands to do her bidding. Well, that process. sucks. Uh, what did she have you do? Oh, cast spells, tinker with relics, meddle with the laws of nature. All the sorts of things power-hungry despots love to do. She had me enchant a dead cat over there. Okay, <laughs> fun. He clicks the gauntlet into place around his withered forearm, his eyes on you the whole time. But that damn contraption that she used on me seems to fog my memory. The rest is a blur. He enchanted a dead cat? That sounds like necromancy. No! Necromancy is an unsavory practice, not something to be trifled with lightly. This is but a cunning illusion of my own creation, nothing more. Okay. His face abruptly creases into a smile. But come now, 
Enough of Dallas and dead cats. You've taken this ship and granted my freedom. This is a happy moment. What will you do now that you're free? How about you tell me something of yourself? I'd like to know just who my valiant... I have been a prisoner are. and a slave twice over. This is the last time I will have to win back my freedom. I swear it. Hmm. I think I can relate to your sentiments, madam. I ought to continue what I'm doing here. Unless there was anything else. Um... The ship is immobile. Uh, do you know what might be causing that? Dallas didn't tell me anything if she could avoid it. But I did overhear her practicing an ancient lizard dialect. Significant an ancient dialect. lizard dialect. Okay. Um, you heard the lizards could use certain songs in their language in order to exert control over slaves. Indeed. Perhaps you should look about. There might be something of the sort that you could use to that effect. Um, the gauntlet that you're working on. Is it a magister piece? Something that he took from them. That you took from them. Took it? No, no. I made it. Have you seen the kind of metalwork the magisters deploy? This is in a different okay. class to them. As I said, the magisters left me weak. This will help give me the strength. Okay, to I'm I'm life. done talking to you. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a whole bunch of stuff. Loot everything. Um, ink pot and quill. Uh, just craft disarm. Silver cup. Silver cup. I am definitely gonna become overlord. Overloaded. Teleporter pyramid. Looks like a teleporter pyramid. Could certainly come in handy. It's got a partner. One way to find out. Okay, not quite yet. Using it. Gold. Dusty Tom. This is written in ancient lizard script. It Song. Okay, that's so that's what we were looking for. Um I'm gonna finish looting stuff though. Got that nice uh, telekinesis going on here. Ah, what? What's this? Where? Ah, found okay. Something. Thick book. I'll check that out too. Steal more stuff. Gotta go. Okay. Um, can't go in there yet. Can't go through that door. Um, lockpick. Probably not good enough at this. Darn it. <laughs> exactly as I guessed. Okay. Let's go down here then. And we have a fight. Cool. Um. Uh, let's take the lay of the land. On. I'm gonna get you up there. So now he doesn't have enough AP, but I can summon this guy down here. What? Oh, I have to already have summoned one to do that. Um, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna save the AP point for the next turn. Wasn't quite expecting that. Okay, um, gonna go ahead and work on this guy here. Um, ha, it does reach. Great. Okay, and then, wow, I don't know how he's at, oh, this is for Losa. Okay. 
Stop breaking the, the commands, stream. Um, armor up on a pawn. Some nice electric discharge. And then just kind of hit him for some more damage. Ah. Shoot. Shoot. Some close range shoot. Uh, and that'll have to be enough. Cool. Glad I put that armor on there. Let's finish taking out this guy. Okay. Nice! That does a lot of damage. Okay, um, now you can focus on this guy up here. Beast. Apparently, you're gonna need to get up there first. So you guys seen any interesting TV shows lately? Um, while you've been holed up inside? I've been span watching some uh, Stargate Atlantis the last couple of days. I'm pretty sure I can get up this ladder. <laughs> he indeed did break it. I'm actually not that surprised though. If anything, I would say that I'm more surprised that it took him this long to break it. Guys, stop spamming my chat. <laughs> those guards or victims. Both, I fear. <laughs> okay, so we got through that. That's good. Um, loot the other body. I'm guessing we'll find something of value down here. So that's the other teleporter pyramid. Another pyramid. So this the teleporter pyramid would have just brought us down here, it looks like. Um the logbook. Some contraption that I can't interact with. No no no, not the chair. Grab the paper. Okay, I think. Oh no no, there's more stuff. More stuff to loot. Oh, that was a. That was something I want to look at. Um. I know I got a lot of stuff. Shackles of pain. Ah, I think I already. Maybe I don't know that. Requires Necromancer 2, so I'm not quite there yet. Why are you cackling, Shadow?
Oh, that's not cackling. That's cake. Oh. Why all of a sudden are you thinking about the cake that I made yesterday? What's this? Ooh. I found something. What does it do? Okay. I don't know that it did anything. Okay, let's move that chair back out of position. Ah, so whatever it was, it wasn't heavy enough. Um, okay, let's separate somebody off from the others to go do whatever that is. Cool. Um, Okay, okay. He is left from behind that. I thought he got crushed for a second. I was a little bit <laughs> worried. Stuff to loot. Ah, you made tacos today with lamb. Nice. We apparently just, uh, I apparently, uh, inspired you yesterday with dinner. The cake was pretty decent. Like I said it, yesterday, it, it wasn't that good looking. Um, but it tasted pretty good. Okay, gotta move some stuff again. some point I will have to sort through that and figure out what I'm going to sell but for now we I believe can get the ship moving um, ancient book maybe nope not that one dusty tome ancient dialect of the lizards okay so Those stairs too. Other end of the ship. Other end of the ship. Have you never had lamb at all? Or just never had lamb and tacos? Deliver us from peril. Let's talk to the ship. Before you is a towering figurehead carved in the likeness of a dragon. Look at that. It looms Look at that. over the bow, its fangs bared at the open sea. That's pretty cool. Um You spot a mark on the figurehead. It's a living scar, the same type used to enslave you and your people. At that moment. The ship serendipitously creaks beneath you, almost like it's acknowledging your observation. Sing the song from the tome we found below decks. The deck beneath you groans and trembles, like wow. the ship itself is awakening from a slumber. A deep sigh emerges, unmistakably. That's pretty darn cool. Being. That's a really cool animation. Nope. Uh, gesture to your own face. Uh, gesture to your own face and say that you know the evils of living scars. The ship is free. You know my plight. I can sense it. But you cannot free me. Not truly. My scar is etched upon immortal wood. My servitude cannot end. I must be guided. Let me take you wherever you wish. We can this is such a cool ship. Uh, I want to know more about you. Ask. I am here. 
Say it's clear the ship was hewn from an ancestor tree. Who was it in a previous life? I see you, sister. But I do not see myself. I was once an elf. That much I know. Then I passed and grew into an ancestor tree. But that time has passed. I saw that forest reduced to a dead place. Then I was taken away. My memories were lost like the leaves from my branches. Ask how a sacred ancestor tree came to be turned into a magister war vessel. Thanks to the great calamity of our people, the magisters. They tainted our soil with death fog and uprooted the sacred ancestor trees. They, they tore me apart and turned me into this. I've heard enough for now. It's time to prepare to sail. Of course. Wherever there is sea, I will endeavor to bring you. Consult with your companion. Will do. Of course. The ship's away. Good. Is she ready to sail? Yes. A slow, to Dangerous waters lie ahead. Be sure you've chosen keen travel companions for this may be your last chance to change your party oh, I have unfinished business I just want to talk to this lady and then I'm ready to go hey extreme stop spamming things I know you're trying to figure stuff out but... okay Let's go on to the next area. Well, what have we a slow took the drift with then? I do want you to fix it up, but let people chat in the chat during the stream. It is time. It might set me forward. With the sun on their backs and the wind in their sails. The god woke and watched Fort Joy shrink behind them. But their capture of the Lady Vengeance had not gone unnoticed. Uh oh. We got a fight. Holy crap. A big fight. I respect your methods, Empress. You steal my ship, kill my bishop and ally with demons, but you have no idea what you're really dealing with. We are ready, Mistress. Yes, but are they? I swear, Mistress. I swear they'll perform admirably. <laughs> Very well. Show me. Goodbye. Uh -oh. This is my ship. I won't be kicking it under my feet. You act. Shit. Oh, for the love of the void. Listen up. We can't win this one, but I can get us to safety. You need to buy me time. Show us what you can do, Godwoken. Godwoken. Oh. I'm God woken. I'll take care of it, mistress. Uh, fire malediction. Go off when the status expires. Duration. One turn. Okay. So, he needs to be on high ground anyway. So, let's get up here. Don't think I'll have enough AP to do anything. Um, 
maybe I can encourage people. Here, let's try that. Great. Okay. Um. Got anybody? Okay, cool. That guy doesn't have any armor. Any magic armor, that is, so. Darn it, <laughs> they just put magic armor on the darn thing. Okay, um. Let's try this then. Okay. Knock these two down. And then, um, you do have magic armor now, but not actually that much. Dead. Okay. How the hell did you get over there, asshole? Cursed fire. Yeah, I realize this. Bring us Do it. I'm working on it. You will not tempt me again, What's the ship gonna do? Something. Um. Okay. What else can I do? I can do this. I can make this elemental totem. Cool. Uh, and then... Do I still have AP? Wow, I have so much AP. Um, Cartinger and Incarnate to help us. Give him some armor. And then... I'm gonna make my arrows. Fire arrows! And then I'll set me up really nicely for that turn. Little, little tiny troll guys just smacking people. So when I get to low side, I want to put rain there if I can. Um, okay, so I can't see them. This chain lightning is not going to help a whole lot there. So my path is interrupted. One way or another. Let's see, where is the ladder? Okay. He's got quite a bit of magic armor. So he can get up there safely, I think. Yeah. Cool, great. set the guy on fire more. <laughs> um, I 
Kill. Oh. I have raining blood too. Thanks for the hug, Extreme. So I need to get up here as well then. Uh, so I'm going to be able to reach them next turn, so that's good. But before then, I can give a bot. No, I can't. Aha. Well, I can't give anybody important armor. I only have one AP. So I'm going to go ahead and put out this rain, I guess. Since everybody down there is dead. I'm working on it. Okay, I really need Malady to not die. gotta go attack this guy east. Cool, that guy burned up. That's nice. Damn it. I'm gonna have to reload. <laughs> Darn it. Ah, oh, well, it could have saved. <laughs> that sucks. We'll try this again, though. Yeah, let's do this again. <clears throat> so, skip that cutscene. Get right into the fight. I respect your methods. We are. Yes, they talk, they talk, they talk. Ah, you put something on to count my deaths? <laughs> I'm sure you'll get it working at some point. Oh, 
Okay, similar last time. You're gonna go up here. Not enough AP. Darn it, forgot about that. Okay, so I can cast aid on first aid on Malady when I need to. Let me give her some more armor first. Um, I want to take out these people. Should have used that. Oh, it uses a sorcery point too, though. Um, yeah. Oh, she didn't heal him this time. Okay, I'm gonna move closer to her to be ready. Zero deaths. As it should say. <laughs> okay, got a firestorm trap there. Darn it! He added a death to my deli. Okay. One guy dead. He's just attacking these people, even though they've got, like, massive armor, massive health. He's just being an idiot. I can't control him, so it's not like I knew much about it. Oh, nice. Okay, that trap worked. I know you need more time. I'm working on it. Thank you, ship. Thank you very much, ship. Ship, ship, ship. Okay. Um. Make a burning totem. Uh, and then summon an incarnate. Go over there. Give him Farsight. Uh, and then let's go ahead and injure this guy. A weaponized monk. It looks a lot like a dog, I have to say. Kill her. Why? Why would you go over there? Ah, darn it. <sighs> that wasn't very smart. Don't 
be advertising your stream, especially since it's not happening. <laughs> Silly extreme. Die. Yes, I know this. I know I need to defend you or die. Got some leaps. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't kill her. Not yet. Okay, um... We gotta do some first aid here. Heal her up. Um... And then... Do I have anything else that might help? I don't think I have anything else there. I don't know where Nightbot is. If I die on this fight, I'm gonna have to try a different tactic of just kind of getting everybody over. Okay, um... I think she's gonna die. Uh. No, that's not the same thing. <laughs> okay, maybe I need to revisit my weapons uh, and armor before we do this really quickly. Sorry for the deaths, guys. <laughs> of course, extremes on top of keeping track. <laughs> you must. Okay, so some quick armor stuff. Um, I know this isn't the most exciting part of everything. The ship is awake. We have to make Calm down, lady. our escape. 
Okay, I don't have the finesse necessary for that, but it would be a good weapon for me. Hey, chill. There is no time to spare. Uh, dagger is not something that I need. Us. This wand, I think we found a better option. Okay. The ship I gotta step away from this lady so she stops talking. It's not better than what I'm wearing. Not better than what I'm wearing. Yes, better. I got one ring on. I don't want the band of Bacchus. Um, I can do that. Can't replace any gloves or anything, not with the armor set I have right now. But I can send it to Fawn. He might be able to use it. The ship is awake. We have to make good on our escape. Okay, so I think my character is about as good as it's gonna be. Let's see if there's any wands for Losa. I need water. So there's a better option for that. even better option. And even better. Okay. Um, it's a better head hat for now. That's even better. Yeah, we'll swap that one. <laughs> For now. Oh wow. Our sacred That's very nice. Turned into the slaves of warmongers. What about pants? Nice. Nice outfit. Jeez. Better gloves. Don't want a staff. Okay. Um. No staffs. I tell him it. Ch lady, chill. We have to put this island behind us. Okay. Uh, beast needs some better wands. There's one. There's another. The wind ones are what he wants. The air ones, I should say, are what he wants. Um. He needs some gloves. Gloves, 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 gloves. There is no time to spare. We have to put this I need a better hat. Us. Much better armor. Need a nice hat. Don't need staffs. What about boots? Surely there are some better boots. Um, boots, boots, boots. No better boots? Okay. Um, do I have any better crossbow for you? The ship is awake. We have to make good Theoretically, but I don't want to. Claude, pause. We have to make good on our the ship is awake. We have to make good on our escape. 
Okay. I think we're good on that. Oh, I'm encumbered again. Okay, let's try saving again, so we don't lose that all if we die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Skip, 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 skip. We gotta get through this fight before we end for the night. I respect your methods. We are. Yes, I swear. Very well. Goodbye. Can't skip that. Oh, for the love of the void. Listen up. I can't win this one, but I can guess show us what you can do. God welcome. I'll take care of it. Okay, so instead of doing all that fun stuff, we're just gonna go ahead and right off the bat summon some stuff. What is with those emotes? <laughs> ah, you found Nightbot, huh? Ah, I feel a dog. him there. <laughs> you have a lot of emotes. Die. Let's do some of this. Nice. Five minutes at a time after the five second warning? Wow. That's a lot. I know. Oh, I know. Yes, take my attack of opportunity. So, 
I can do another one of these. Darn. She keeps dodging. kill this guy off uh, and then we should be able to move forward without too much trouble unless we slip haha -ha, we didn't slip why do you want a commercial extreme that he's attacking him instead. Um. Probably kill you. And then I might... Okay, let's do... Oh, that's not what I want. Flesh sacrifice. On, little guy. Oh, is that what it would do if I was partnered? It would do something. Alice is uh, not having a good day. It's going a bit better. Let's get up here. And then armor frost on. Osa, I guess, on herself. Cool, he burned it up. That's good. Stop attacking Malady. <laughs> okay, we killed somebody. That's good. Nice. Good little incarnate. of the matter is that we're almost there. Right. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and move up here. <laughs> I 
I don't... I'm gonna save really quickly just because I don't know what's gonna happen when I do this. Hi. <laughs> they do not like me being on their ship whatsoever. Fudge! They like murder you when you step foot on the ship. people died. Um, I don't have... I don't know if I have scrolls to use. I do enjoy a a trap. Please teleport my dead ones out too. <laughs> I look cool. This would be a, a screenshotable moment. <laughs> um, look around and realize you've been here before. A faint creaking sounds in the distance. Weird. This is the like the place that we were at before. Is that a tree? Weird. What's hanging from it? The goddess of imps. Weird. And if your question, will she love you, is directed at me, it. yes, she will. Extreme. Ooh, cool. Jeez, Jeez. The gods, wow. are they dead? How can this be? Centes uh, Centessa, god. Vamps. Zoral Stiza, god of lizards. Tyrison Delius, god of elves, which is my god. Vrogir, god of orcs. Amadia, god of wizards. Relic, the god of humans. And Duna, the god of dwarves. Suppose I should maybe talk to my. Tight coils wrapped tears and tears from head to foot. That's not what it was. L. To the Hall of Echoes. Bless your god. 
Uh, just for kicks, I want to bless a different guy. <laughs> uh, which one do I like? I like that one. Um, let's see if it works. The curse ah. My one. Won't work. <laughs> The cursed tendril slackens. My want. Before you okay. is a great. As he regains consciousness, Tears and Delius frees an arm from the tendrils that bind him. He clutches at the coils but cannot rend them apart. Mm, curse these snakes! Curse these vines! The the others too. Am I the first to wake? It doesn't matter. There is no time. We must leave this place. Mm. It's too dangerous. What happened? How did you end up trapped like this? It struck even here. In these halls. Invisible it creeps. The void. It is here. The cosmic spider ever weaving its webs. The void is coming for us gods, coming to drink us dry of our powers. We stand no chance. Fear doesn't Not become fear. a god. Let it be a warning to you, Sabeel. I, the god who created you, tremble. Does this not give you pause? Soon the seven will be nothing but morsels in the maws of the void, unless... Unless you do as I bid you, do what I blessed you for. You have already set loose some of the powers locked within you. But there is a great well of possibility as yet untapped. You cannot stop until you ascend to the high. Are those cat facts <laughs> in the chat? You cannot stop until you become divine, like Lucian. You will be called to unite the powers of the Seven against the Void. Like Lucian, you will lead our proud people to preeminence. But unlike Lucian, your weakness will not lead you to foolish failure. So that is the grand plan. To do as Lucian once did? Either a new divine rises, or the world falls prey to the Void. One of the Godwoken must become the new divine, and that Godwoken must be you. You are my champion. So set off in pursuit okay. of divinity. Good. Now hurry. Get out of here before. Hush. It's here. The spider's here. Run. Go. I will find you. I'll be in. White hot cold pierces your heart like a blade. You are frozen to the spot. The burning cold pumps through. So dad jokes in the chat now, huh? Okay. Talk to our companions. The same troubled look is visible on each face. You've seen the gods beaten and defiant, strung up as a warning. What can yet be blessed can yet be restored one way or another. Divinity will survive through all of you and all of me. I've got my weapon. I've got my wits. But now, I've got a new enemy. If the Void wants me, well, I say let it come. I'm ready. Gods, schmods. They aren't interested in me, and I'm not interested in them. It seems whatever's inside me is more powerful than any of them anyway. Or at least more cunning. The void has been pushed back before by the power of mortals. The gods couldn't handle it. Cool. But maybe we can. Okay, well, I think wherever we are, this is a good place to leave it off for now. Uh, and I will find you guys another day to continue from here. Thank you everybody who showed up for uh, hanging out, chatting, and enjoying the stream. And I will see you guys 
another day.